Alright, what's up y'all? This is Tar81 and this is the Friday Night Show. Alright, first up, Orlando Cruz, uh, first openly gay boxer, yep, that's right, first openly gay boxer. 32 years old, will be fighting for um, his featherweight title, I believe it is, um, coming up this Saturday on the main ticket fight. I forget the name of the people that's going to be uh, the main event, but he's on that ticket. Once again, first openly uh, gay male uh, representing... Uh, the Puerto Rican shirt shorts actually excuse me <laughs> tongue tie the Puerto Rican shorts um, from what I noticed um, it stated that they feel disrespected because the Puerto Rican flag is actually um, his short uh, design but he has it in LGBT colors which we all know as being the rainbow uh, colors in the flag you know highly representing uh, the LGBT community so um, Honestly, I don't know how it's going to turn out for his career. I'm not like super, super into boxing except for when they're main big ticket fights. But I'm sure he's going to get a lot of uh, attention just because of what he's represented. Um, honestly, you know, I like in one of my previous videos, I'll probably put the link down here somewhere so you can check it out. Um, but I'm one of the type of people where I am who I am and I love who I love. And I, that's not going to change basically. But I don't feel like we need to as a family you know go around with rainbow you know flags on our cars and stuff like that so in a sense I'm kind of opinionated about things like that um, because I don't I don't feel that it should have to be over glorified or you should have to represent that much you are who you are and you know that's that's fine you know if you want to tell the world you know go tell it on a mountain whatever the case may be but that that's not for me so you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are proud. Uh, sounds like he's getting married to his boyfriend as well. So, you know, hopefully things will be cool with that and he doesn't uh, receive a lot of backlash because I'm sure, you know, although we all have our tough times, I still honestly believe, and I don't know if some of you guys feel the same, but I honestly believe that it's harder for a gay male to be understood than it is for lesbian females. So, um, on that title, or on that, <laughs> on that subject, excuse me, you know, let me know what you guys think about that, uh, is it cool, you know, is it not, you know, how would you feel uh, if somebody was representing your country or where you're from and they represented it in that fashion? So, let me know. On to the next story. I know all you guys have seen that video uh, of the bikers basically attacking the dude in a Range Rover or however it may be from what i seen on the video. Um, it could go both ways. You know, I mean, I can see why the guy was scared for his life. You got, like, hella motorcycles, you know, uh, up all around you, basically. You're with your, your child, for one. You're with your family, you know, your your wife. You know, why would you want to step out the car and, and you know, risk having any harm done to them? So I do see that. But also at the same time, uh, I do also see, you know you at least stopping and see what's going on. I mean, you hit a dude, you know what I mean? I don't know if you guys seen the video, but uh, honestly, you know, the way that they make it look on TV and how they're um, basically um, putting a label on these bikers, you know what I mean? Like, it looks all bad. They show the biker basically stopping in front of the car. They get into some kind of uh, fender bender, so to say, and then basically before anybody's like really off their bikes and tripping, you know, he running over, you know, the other bikers and shit. So I can see that I would be blown too. And of course they're going to chase him because he just hit one of their partners or whatever the case may be. And now he's just bouncing like it's all good. But, excuse me, I don't know if old boy was on the phone when he was with his wife and his two-year-old daughter while he was driving. Uh, it would have been more logical to be on the phone with the police at the same time. Um, but then, you know, with the attempts to stop and then just hitting other people again, it just started looking like really, really bad and a, a really, uh, bad situation got that much worse, you know. So I blame both parties, but I really do not blame dude. If I'm with my wifey, basically, and, you know, we're out cruising around and we're surrounded by a bunch of people like that and I got, you know, our son in the back seat and something happened like that and it looked threatening, I might have to bounce too. I'm not going to sit there and have, you know, my family in danger. So, um, 
both sides of the story are crazy. Obviously, there's people already in jail. You know, even worse, they were talking about the uh, two or three cops that were off duty uh, that were also riding with that uh, that motorcycle crew. But if you watch some of the other videos as well, you'll see that some of them were going against traffic, basically endangering other people's uh, lives with their stunts and their tricks, and uh, riding on the sidewalk and all kinds of crazy stuff. So what do you expect? Why would he stop? Next. <laughs> Um, the new $100 bill is coming out soon. Yes, we're going to get a, a nice, crispy uh, $100 bill, basically, uh, from what I've seen. Looks like it was, it was supposed to come out in 2011 or so, but for whatever reason it was put on the back burner. Uh, it looks like it's still a big face $100 bill, so for all of those, you know, baller ballers that stay with $100 bills, I don't stay with $100 bills, like, I don't. <laughs> but yeah, for all y'all ballers that stay with $100 bills, basically, uh, you'll have some new uh, notes to put up in your pocket with a little nice little, uh, look like that, like a little blue strip or some sort of hologram or something. So, of course, things are getting uh, more exquisite when it comes to uh, designs and stuff for our money from what I've seen, you know, over the years. So, anyway, that's it. This is Tar81. Um, once again, this is the Friday night show. If you guys got anything you want me to talk about on this show, uh, go ahead and drop me a line or two, and uh, I'll see you what to do. <laughs> All right, peace. Yeah.